Welcome to BookView TV. I'm Dennis Campbell. Now, each week we discuss the craft of writing books with an author in any one of a number of categories. Sitting across the Skype table this week is novelist Alice Huskisson. Did you like Bridget Jones' diary? Well, this could top it. Now, she describes herself as a fun, glamorous, and real girly girl who loves chick flicks, reality television, and spending lots of time with her family and friends. And she confesses to being a 12-year-old trapped in a 40-something body. Now, she's deep thinking, convinced everything happens for a reason, and believes anything is possible in life. And she's enjoyed writing since, as a little girl, she spent most of her spare time corresponding with 70 pen pals from all over the world. Now, she's fascinated by we male of the species and what makes us tick, so this could be very uncomfortable for your host today. However, she readily admits that she'll never fully understand our psyche. Now, her biggest desire in life has always been to settle down with the man of her dreams. However, her mission was to find him first, and that was the inspiration for writing her blog and ultimately The Man in a Haystack. She joins us today from Essex, England. Alice Huskisson, welcome to Bookview TV. Uh, hello, Dennis. Thank you for having me. <laughs> oh, it's a pleasure. Now, okay, I'm up for the abuse coming this way. How do we men always manage to mess things up? Oh, dear. Well, you lead us girls on, Dennis. <laughs> what? Well, not you. Um, I, it's just confusing signs, game playing. We never know where we stand with you. Well, some would say we never know, as the male of the species, where we stand with you, the female of the species. Why did I know you were going to say that? <laughs> but I take it you don't believe us. Um, I'm much less trusting than I used to be. So, uh, you know, I guess the most important question here is, have you found the man of your dreams? Really, you need to read the book right to the end <laughs> to find out whether that's the case or not. Oh, so you're going to leave every, you're going to leave everybody here on the program hanging today, huh? Well, really, yes. I mean, that is the point of the book, to see whether I do actually meet my man in a haystack. <laughs> All right, so, so let's, let's go back to the basics then, because we do need to have a little bit of information about what's inside the book. What does the man of your dreams look like to you? Um, Personality-wise, he has to be just kind, caring, very fun, and just make me feel secure. There's not a lot to it. This is what I don't understand with men. It just, it's so simple to please a woman, and yet they just don't seem to be able to do it. <laughs> I don't think our expectations are high. Well, how are you going to know if you find him? I mean, I'm going to speak, I'm going to speak uh, hypothetically here. I mean, what, what does that person look like in terms of, you know, because uh, it, it, it seems very simple, but it rarely is simple. Well, um, when you say look like, you mean physically. Or mentally. Well, not even physically, just, I mean, I mean, I'm trying to help the guys out here that are watching this, this program, okay? The, the guys out here that are watching this program are hearing, you know, all of the, the, the words that, that they always hear. And, of course, many of them process it and say, okay, well, yeah, I think I'm that. But, obviously, we're not. So, I'm trying to find out where are we falling down. Well, you see, I like a man who wears his heart on his sleeve. I don't like guessing games. I like to um, be able to phone him whenever I want to and not have to think, oh no, I've got to, I've got to wait until he phones me. Or I, I like to send texts several times a day maybe. If I've got something to say, I want to just say it. I don't want to have to think, oh no, I've got, to, I've got to play hard to get. That's not the way I deal with things. And I don't think that's the way a lot of women deal with things. But we seem to, we seem to have to um, play hard to get or appear uninterested or unavailable in, e in order to find a man who is actually interested in us. That's my experience, Dennis. I can't say right across the board, but that is definitely what I've come up against. And as, as other women have read my book, the amount of stories I've had from them as well, which actually backs up the way I feel, um, and they've actually said it, it makes them feel like they're not alone in this. And that, you know, it's, it isn't just them. It happens to every woman. 
So, so, so do me a favor. Help me, help me by by sharing some of the stories that that you get back as as response from from other women as to as to what their experiences are, so we can help the blokes out here that might be watching. Well, it's just basically being, you know, they're they're asked out. They go out on these dates. Um, the man makes a pass at them, whereas a lot of women don't want to pass made at them on the first date. They want to be wooed, you know, but they, they feel sometimes that they have to give in to these guys. They expect to see them again. The calls never come, you know, the texts never come. There's just no contact afterwards. And, you know, the woman's given a piece of herself in faith that that man's going to see them again. And, and it, it doesn't happen. So, you know, I don't know, I don't know what we're supposed to think or how we're supposed to go about it. Is, is that um, having not been in the dating game for a very long period of time? Oh, definitely, definitely. I mean, that's my only experience. Um, so it's, it's, this is why I say I don't really understand what goes on in a guy's head. Um, but obviously there's millions of successful relationships out there. I've just never come across one. Or maybe I have. Well, let, me, let, me, let me put the, um, the journalist hat on for a second and ask the question that, that obviously is coming to mind. Is it a question perhaps that maybe you and someone else are being too picky? Um, I don't think it's being picky because we're, well, I'm actually saying I want to see you. I want to go out with this guy. But then it doesn't happen. Maybe I've come on too strong, but that just by just being honest. Do men not like honesty in a woman? I'm, I'm happy to be happy to that. Well, you know, this is, um, you know, this is also a question of, of availability. Do you run into situations where people make themselves either emotionally or physically unavailable, or is it, uh, is it more to it than that? Um, the, ma the man makes himself emotionally unavailable, in my experience. Um, there tend to be many, many commitment phobes. Many men who just want to date casually, not get serious at all. When you get to my age, you know, serious is what you want. Well, we're going to talk a little bit more about this and, and particularly in uh, this issue of settling down and helping to find Mr. Right when Bookview TV continues with part two here with Alice Huskinson. Huskinson excuse me. We'll look more into the man in the haystack when we get to Stay right here.